Okay, so here we are uh, at the end of the day, and we're doing the swing and slide drill. Um, and that's what this represents, is the swing and slide drill. So again, the concept of, of this drill is you're going to uh, about a step and a half behind the foul line. You've got your right foot slightly forward of the left foot. And then you've got your left arm out in front with your thumb facing the floor. And you got your head tilted to the right. So we're looking for a high low. And you can increase that if you want to. As a matter of fact, I would like to see you increase that several degrees and increase that angle from side to side from this angle here maybe to that angle there. So it's going to look more like something like that. And of course, the head will be lower than that coming down because the shoulder is going to drop, which is going to make the head drop. But more importantly is it's providing space underneath your head for the ball to swing freely. And that's what we're after, space. The ball goes up to the hand but not touching it. And then you need to be a little bit more patient before you take this step. Let the ball get to the top of the swing before you step into it and stop and pop coming through elbow to the inside unload the hand just like you're doing right there unload that hand and let give it rev knee right over the top of the foot again space is the is what we're looking for keep it quiet with our torso Again, coming right in through here. Again, we got pretty good space, but we got more space right here. So if I go to the outside of that shoulder, eh, cheated just a little bit. Right there. So there's the amount of space that you have to swing underneath your head. And you'd have another inch or so if your head was even tilted a little bit more, or your body was tilted just another inch more you would see two inches more space but the upside of this is it's okay it's not going to hurt you in any way shape or form now you can see your arm has started to clear out we need to get that arm out of the way but keep the shoulder predominantly in front and then let this shoulder drop underneath right there elbow goes to the inside hand unloads and everything finishes through the face okay so again, a little bit more angle even here at the end. Again, you can see the side of your head is not establishing the border. The shoulder is established the border. And there's the head over here. So that head needs to get to that line. If the head gets to that line, this shoulder will drop more inside and then we'll have a little bit better angle coming to the inside with the elbow staying inside longer and you'll be able to unload it even better than what you are right now. But don't don't get me wrong, this is pretty good right here. You can see the angle of your shirt is is pretty straight on as opposed to what we saw here as a, as you're in the real uh, approach. Oops. Went the wrong way with that. And again, this is the finish drill right here so everything is just right underneath okay so again that's that's kind of the angle that we're looking for that looks pretty good there the, the head and the shoulder are on the same line the head and the shoulder are on the same line here but that's because the shoulder gets so far out in front and that's what we're trying not to do I don't want the shoulder to get in front of the head I want the head to get over the top of the shoulder so again we're we got pretty good concepts, but we're, we're, we're going about it maybe uh, not the best way we could. So again, I want the head to move and not the shoulders and the, and the upper body to straighten up and turn to the inside. And the reason we don't want to do that is because now the swing line is outside in as opposed to inside out. And that's what we're looking for is an inside out look. That's why the, it's important for that elbow to get to the inside because that promotes and initiates the inside out. The load unload of the hand is another proponent 
to inside out ball direction like you see right there. So the ball landed here and it just naturally faded away from you. That's the way it's supposed to be. All right, my friend. Well, it's been very entertaining. I hope these, uh, these little tips help you out and the drills uh, prove to be as beneficial for you as they have for our Weber International team and all of our other lessons.